All right, my friends, here we go. Game number six here between the Little One and Grubby in this best of seven series. This time we are here on Shakuras Plateau. In the upper left, we do have the Little One as our Red Terran player. And down here in the bottom right is Grubby as the green Protoss player. Right now, Grubby is up three games to two. Again, this is game number six in a best of seven. So the Little One is going to have to win this in order to stay in it. If Grubby wins this, he will take the series, and that will be that. All right, so let's pay attention now. We do have cross position right now. Uh, this could obviously make for a longer game. Uh, one big thing to note, obviously, though, is on Shakur's Plateau, or maybe it's not obvious. Maybe you don't know this. On Shakur's Plateau, your opponent cannot spawn directly north or south of you. So it is impossible, since Grubby is right here, for the little one to be in this position. And it, for the little one, it is also impossible uh, for Grubby to be in this position. Now, the one caveat to that, of course, is going to be on any specialized maps... There are maps made for tournaments and such in which they do allow close spawn positions. But on the typical ladder map, which I believe is what's being used here, uh, that is literally impossible. So while you're playing the ladder, if you ever get if you get your Curse Plateau, your opponent will never spawn directly across from you. So just pay attention, be aware of that, and don't even bother scouting that position. All right, so now we got Grubby dropping down the gateway, and then we'll be moving out with that probe scout and I believe let's see if he checks directly cross position some players like to go straight cross as opposed to a uh, straight left or right and we'll see if he decides to do that but no he is actually going to be going straight left first and then we'll be moving up into the little one's base the little one looks to be going with a fast expand build we can see that Rax is building no refinery yet though and we are just about to hit that 15 supply mark there for the little one so will be a one racks into expand build likely incorporating a bunker at the front to keep himself nice and defended uh let's see if he gets that marine out before that probe scout gets out that'd be huge i mean that's really a that's a very big thing uh if you can get that marine out before that probe scout moves into your base you can deny that scouting completely and yeah just com completely take your opponent by surprise the next thing you will likely see though is a possible stalker push and as long as you can defend against that too and stop him from getting in your base you're pretty much all set so that marine's gonna be very close he's also got two more marines queued up right now looks like that probe will make it in though very nice there for grubby uh grubby will be losing the probe but he's getting that necessary scouting information i believe oh he hasn't spotted that second oh that is bad that's terrible that is really terrible he didn't check that second vespian geyser to see if there's a refinery down and he really needed to do that because that would have told him exactly what the little one was doing. Uh, but unfortunately, he cut left trying to save that probe. And again, really not going to happen. It's it's just very rare that if as, as long as the Terran player knows how to micro uh, to kill off that probe with the stutter step, there's really no chance if you go all the way inside the base that you'll ever be leaving it, especially once that second Marine pops. I mean, you're already a goner then. I really think that Grubby should have, while pulling up here, should have just cut it right and checked that Vespian geyser to see if that, that refinery was placed down. And that would have told him, hey, he's going with the fast expand. I I'm guessing he is assuming that's the case though and uh, as such although let me check something because I could have just been talking on my rear you know what though okay well I, I'm gonna take that back in all honesty because he did scout the fringe here what that does tell us is that he would have seen if there were any workers mining so I was wrong he did get enough scouting information why who am I to doubt grubby grubby's a pro I'm a commentator <laughs> Jeez. I play master's level but that doesn't mean that I am professional I'm just a uh, just a dude who likes to commentate starcraft and and that's why you guys are here because you like listening to me talk about starcraft so there we go we have that warp gate research chrono boosting out right now one gateway is in two more about to finish warping in right now so grubby will be working with these three gateways from the get-go then be dropping that robo get that observer and then probably go into colossus tech we have a proxy pylon situated over here. So Grubby might be trying for some of this initial aggression with just this three-gate pressure here. I'm not sure what he has for units yet. He's actually got nothing. He didn't even bother coming out with anything from his initial gateway until about now. That stalker, uh, he started building, and that's just about finished right now. So yeah, this proxy pylon could be used for some early aggression, or he may be saving it for that mid to late game. Uh, we do have the little one coming out with this bunker, so that should help him against any possible pressure that Grubby may decide to move out with. Uh, we'll just want to keep an eye on his warp ins and see if he decides to come out with that we do have a third refinery coming out over here the little one uh, getting a lot of gas right now he does want to of course work up to that factory also get those upgrades uh, we do have one warp in of a stalker coming over here any additional warp ins going to be coming through are those all on cooldown right now no they are not but he's just not warping in maybe he's supply blocked i'm not sure uh, just sitting with these two stalkers right now was testing spotted that bunker that's really enough to force him back 
Couple stalkers being warped in though. Uh, he's gonna be sitting outside the little one's base at least for a few moments. He might try to snipe a few of these Marines. Here we go. Should be target firing them down, at least softening them up if nothing else. Uh, try and take advantage of their range to try to take out that bunker. Uh, should be able to actually push forward and do a little bit of damage to that. But yeah, trying to snipe down a few Marines is a pretty solid tactic. We've got Stimpak coming out. There is that Robo right now. Uh, stalker moving forward, taking out the Marine, getting that one kill. <laughs> nice one, says the little one. Uh, so the little one, unfortunately. Having that injured Marine a little bit too close to the fire, that Stalker managed to snipe him out. We can see a fanning out here of the Stalkers just in case any scouts try to sneak their way on out into either position. Uh, the Stalkers will be able to take those out no problem. Shouldn't be seeing many more warp ins though at the front of that. It really doesn't look like Grubby's about to push up against that anytime soon. Again, that robotics just about finished. Really am expecting that bay right after that. Another stalker pushing forward. Now that he's got full shields, really not a chance anymore though. With these three bunkers up, the little one is properly defended against anything that could possibly happen. The Marines going forward, and the little one trying to return the favor and take out one of these stalkers. Is it going to happen though? Grubby with some nice micro trying to stay back as much as possible, and the little one realizing Grubby is paying full attention. going to have a hard time. He gets it taken out one stalker though. Uh, losing a few Marines as a result. Let's take a look at the unit loss tab. They are about even and there go Marines turning around and again Grubby was paying enough attention to pull back. Losing another Marine. Uh, the little one probably wants to retreat right now back to the safety of those bunkers. Stalker's not going to be able to catch up them. Might get a shot or two off but not going to be much more than that and there we go turning around. A little more damage on that stalker and then back into the safety of that bunker. Combat Chill and Stimpak are finished right now. And actually, the little one may have tempted out, may have attempted a timing push prior to that engagement, but because Grubby managed to snipe down a few of those Marines, I really don't think the little one's going to be pushing out. Uh, maybe waiting for a couple medevacs and then may attempt to push out after that point. In fact, he does have two starports worth of medevacs churning out right now. This one, unfortunately, without that reactor, would really like to see that get placed down. We've got three more gateways as well as two forges for some upgrades coming out over here for Grubby. So Grubby working his way on up through that. Doesn't look like, no, he's not going to be getting that base and so not working up into Colossus. Just sticking with that gateway tech at the early stages of the game right now. Stalkers fully charged with those shields. will be continuing to push out right now. And again, just pushing up and checking what the little one has. He's going to be spotting those medevacs right now. And now with Stimpak, uh, Grubby's in a little bit of a tough spot. He could be losing these stalkers, unfortunately. We got that observer scout moving forward. And yeah, these stalkers looking to be in a tough spot. We'll be target fired down. So the one gets lost. We'll be re-stimming up there with just those four and continuing to push against these stalkers losing that one marine no not yet there we go pushing back wow escaping those force fields as well getting healed up and there we go that's a lot of dps right now these stim marines plus those medevacs a little bit dangerous to grubby he has got those force fields he does have to worry though about those medevacs giving vision to the high ground possibly even dropping up into the main the little one checking for that third expansion uh, should send at least one marine to scout up here scout up there as well just in case grubby tried to hide one over there uh, but grubby not expanding quite yet still just sitting on those two bases the little one is getting ready to move right into his third he's got a missile turret uh, situated right there to spot any observers and or dt observer scouting out the push and here we go whoa needs to be careful again those force fields there's a little bit of space but there we go gets fully closed closed off. The Marines at the low ground staying in to do as much damage as possible. Uh, not going to be able to do too, too much right now. We really don't expect him to be able to push into Grubby's base. He could, in all honesty, just try dropping up here, stimming up, taking down a few pylons or a gateway, and then walking out. And there's the stim, and getting ready for another push right now. Uh, getting fully healed up. There's a lot of medevacs here for the little one. The little one sitting very, very medevac heavy at this early stage of the game. Not even at 12 minutes right now. Doesn't look like he's got any more. He's got maybe a few more coming out. Sitting on just those five. He will be dropping into the main as mentioned and trying to take out maybe one or two pylons and then just leave. So there we go. Grabbing. No, is he going to target fire it down? No. First engaging these zealots. We'll be taking these out. Need some guys from the low ground to help those guys up there. Should be taking out that pylon. There we go. And then we probably will be seeing him retreat after this. Needs to be very careful, though, about losing his medevac. He's all set. Just lost a few more Marines. Then pulling back. Scan to the high ground. Then pushing forward with some of those Marines. He is trying to snipe down these uh, these sentries. That's really his, uh, his number one target there. One Marine sacrificing himself over here. Anything else going on? Did I miss anything? No, not really. We've got that Mobius reactor coming out from that Ghost Academy. Should be seeing that little one, the little one expand sometime soon over there. Uh, yes, that orbital command is finished right now, so he's lifting off. The proxy pylon spotted by the little one will get taken out by these few Marines over here. At the same time, pushing up over here, trying to snipe down those sentries. Uh, they are still alive, though. We are sitting actually four sentries right now for Grubby. 
Groby a little tired of this charade and realizing he outnumbers the little one at the moment. Is pushing out a little uh, little division of those forces though. Managed to allow the little one to snipe out a few. We're seeing some nice micro from the little one keeping those injured marines back and doing a great job of just shredding through these zealots as they attempt to come up on that marine line. And even though he's heavy marines, it's a little bit scary for Grubby. And he's pushing back with this stalker heavy army because those marines with that combat shield and stim pack, very, very daunting indeed. A few more medevacs coming out, starting to make that transition into a little bit more marauder heavy here as well. We can see a lot of tech labs over there. The little one does have this expo up. Grubby trying to move up into this expansion and impeccable timing there by the little one scouting out with that marine. He is now aware that this expo is going down, so this should allow him to uh, move up with some forces and deal with it. Even just a medevac or two dropping over there could do quite a bit of damage. Not wanting to ping off Grubby to the fact that he's here, though, uh, was holding off. But there we go, warping in that Zealot. Obviously aware that he is here. Going to be trying to micro back away from that Zealot. Don't think he's going to be able to get it with that stim pack, though. He could micro a bit. He's got some reinforcements coming over here. There's a medevac. That's all he needs uh, to push up against that Zealot. But no, it looks like that f the rest of that force will be going over there. Those medevacs. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Losing two medevacs to a miss rally. Oh, the little one. That makes me sad. That makes me so very, very sad. Uh, that one medevac will be circumventing the bulk of the forces over there, heading on over here to try to not lose a third medevac. That would just be awful. A couple of Zell checking for that expansion. They're actually going to make it. Look at how hardy those guys are. Super durable. They are like the linebackers of StarCraft. These guys are fantastic. They are seriously my idols. Just look at how amazing those zealots are. Like, I don't give a F. <laughs> I'll just go run through all that fire. No big deal. No big deal whatsoever. Grubby does have that third up right now. He's getting that saturated. We do have the little one getting ready to move into his fourth. Finally getting some ghosts in play. He's sitting on four ghosts right now. We got three more coming out. Uh, the Mobius Reactor is finished. We got Concussive Shell as well as that Cloaking Research. Working on those 2-2 two -two upgrades. What do we have for upgrades over here for Grubby? Grubby is sitting 2-2 two -two as well. He's also got the level 3 upgrades coming through. Very, very nice. Um, coming out with that Tonic Storm as well as that Charge Upgrade Warp Prism. So we should be seeing some Draw Parass with that Warp Prism. Spotted by the turret. Gets taken out and that is why you place at least one turret at your expansions to deal with that observer and get that free kill there and then obviously DT is a little bit threatening and oh no losing the medevac to those blink stalkers over there we've got a pylon situated over here a grubby might be ready to move into his fourth sometime soon Floating a bit of extra minerals, really getting to the point in the game. There we go, churning out a couple zealots uh, to get rid of that extra, that excess minerals that he was sitting on. And especially since he's got the charge upgrade coming out, that's not a bad idea whatsoever. Uh, those charge zealots, very, very effective. And here comes the push from the little one right now, getting ready to move across the map. Uh, Grubby is spread a little thin. Where's the bulk of his force? I need to take a look here at what we got for army size. A little one, oh boy, big lead over Grubby right now in terms of uh, army size. This could be a bit scary scary right now. I'm actually a little bit concerned for Grubby. He's going to have to land some clutch storms as well as hopefully some feedbacks on those ghosts. Here comes the push right now. Ghost leading the way. EMP and getting an EMP down on those High Templar and all of those stalkers. And this is a little scary right now. This bio is going to do a fantastic job sandwiching from the top there as well. And this is not good at all for Grubby. He's going to be losing all of his forces again with some amazing EMPs from the little one. Just fantastic work. We've got a few more zealots up here. We do have one High Templar. Does he have enough? He's just going to be feedbacking there. And Grubby calling the GG, realizing he was way too outgunned. So there we go, guys. Game number six, ending in a win for the little one, tying up the series at 3-3. So we will be moving on to the final game, game number seven between these two players. So hold on just one moment. That will be up in a few more minutes. Thank you, guys, as always, so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this content. If you do, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, keep watching and keep owning.